What's up everybody, Mark from Brick Foundation here and today was August 1st and it was a great day for Lego. So what we did was we woke up really early this morning, got in our cars and we headed to the nearest Lego store, which was in the woodlands about an hour away. I wanna first start off by saying thank you to everyone, but I do need your support. If you could please, please, if you guys wanna buy some sets, I do have some affiliate links down below. Links are in the description. If you could please go ahead and use those if you're gonna be buying some of these Lego sets, it definitely helps us out here. Helps out with all the cost of actually filming and buying all these sets, so please do that. Roll the film. Hi, right, good morning everyone. You can see here it's another beautiful sunny day in Houston. <laughs> and we're actually on the way to the Lego store in the woodlands, so it's just outside. It's probably about an hour, hour or two minutes away. And we're gonna head there to see what we can grab today, August 1st. A lot of announcements, or I should say a lot of releases today. Hey, happy month. It's happy new month, that's right. Happy new month, guys. So. First, we're gonna go grab a cup of coffee and we'll be on our way. Okay, bye. All right, we're at the Lego store in the woodlands. If you wanna pan around, there's quite a few people waiting already. See? All the way around. Huh? All the way around. Oh, people waiting right there. So we have to wait in these lines. There's a bunch of people over there and a bunch of people over here. And we're trying to get in. We're out, finally. Here. As you can see from the video, it was jam packed with people from waiting. It was quite a mess because people, some people had tickets, some other people didn't have tickets. They had to get mall security out to make sure everybody was keeping the distance of six feet apart, but they did their best. And luckily, I was able to grab the sets that I wanted. So let's go ahead and take a look what we grabbed. All right, first bag to pull out. Ah. Lego Iron Man Mosaic. So this set number is the 31199. Lego Iron Man Mosaic. Now granted, if you got all three of them, you could go ahead and build the super large picture set. Now I only got one because I really wanted to see if, if I liked this concept. So if this goes well, best believe we're gonna go ahead and grab the other two. All right guys, next set. All right. Take a moment and guess which one this is. Can you see it through the bag? Let's find out. There it is. When we were waiting in line, there's a few people ahead of us and I'm they were going around taking names and you know putting numbers in to see if everyone has what they wanted. And I was lucky enough and able to grab one of these. So I was very excited about that. I have quite a few sets that I need to actually complete, but this is definitely on my list of what I truly want to do. Next. All right, next bag. This is something I did not think I was gonna get based upon how quickly it sold out the night before. There, here it is in all its glory. Going to drum roll, guys, drum roll. Made up the drum roll. The Lego Grand Piano. This is a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be, guys. Even just the box is good. I mean, I mean, I think they did an excellent job of making this seem very classy, Grand Piano-esque, should I say. Now, this I already know is gonna take me some time to build, and I don't know how far down the list. I, I kinda wanna build the Millennium Falcon before I build the piano, but let's go ahead and vote down in the comments below. This before the Millennium Falcon? Which one should I do? There's just too many sets to, to build right now. I'm getting a little overwhelmed. There's so many unique features of this set that I'm, I wanna take my time building this. Like I want to enjoy this. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna film this one, but maybe I'll do a review afterwards. I want to truly enjoy putting this together. Well, that concludes all the purchases that I made at Lego Shop. I did head down the street over to Barnes & Noble and picked up a few items to complete my whole Super Mario thing. Let's take a look. Barnes & Noble bag. First thing that I was missing was this, Womp's Lava Trouble. This is a small little set. I think was it, 20 bucks? You get 10% off if you're a Barnes and Noble member, so I did that. I had to pick up one of these to complete that. Moving on. Next one I was missing was this. This was Boomer Bill Barrage. Now this one, 30 bucks. A little bit more expensive, let's see here. You get 132 pieces, 133 pieces, so you get fewer pieces and it's $10 more. That's a little hard one to explain, right? But again, whatever, moving on. The final piece of the collection that I needed to complete everything was Toad's Treasure Hunt. So grab one of these. This was actually the last one they had out in stock. This one retailed for 69, so 70 bucks. And this one has 464 pieces. Ah, so about double the piece count of these. It's just about that double to triple the price of these items as well. Hey, you do get four characters. You get Toadorette, Toad, Cheap Cheap, and Goomba, so. You get those, you get to complete your set. But actually, you know what? I just forgot. I had to head over to Target. I totally forgot I headed over to Target. One second, guys. Ugh. 
This is actually the one that, I was actually at the Lego store and I asked them about this set and they said they, they didn't even receive this one in. Luckily for me, I was driving right across the street over to Target and they had it. I'm excited about this one. You guys know I love anything Halloween, spooky, whatever it is, ghosts. Even if I didn't even like Super Mario, I was grabbing this set. 431 pieces, what this one, I think this was 50 bucks. It's $50 for this one. 464 for 70, 431 pieces for 50. $20 difference for a couple pieces. Whatever. Here, you get King Boo, Swoop, and Goomba. This is gonna be probably one of my favorites. I mean, King Boo and the Haunted Yard. Yes, please, more of these. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. It was definitely a happy August 1st for me. I wanna, I'm gonna call today Lego Day. And remember to hit that like button, smash that like button as much as you can to get these likes up and to subscribe and share these videos with your friends. Let's get these subscribers up. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys later.